example, this example just asks you to, you know, ask you to translate from, from word to, from word to symbolic, right? And later on, we have to do some, from symbolic back to word, right? So question with this thing here in terms of, of, of your connector, uh, again, um, the and, the all, the if and then, the if and only if, right? Those are your chapter three material. So once we have this thing here, which is again, um, number 10 is just to remind you when does the statement be a true statement or when does the compound statement is a false statement, right? So again, if you remember my and, my conditional statement, this is my and statement, right? My and statement, when does this and statement is false or when does it's true? Again, um, this one here, um, this one here, they want to remember that when both of them are true, then it's true, right? Uh, the con con conjunction is true only when both B and Q are true, right? When they are true, which is again, in class, I told you the and as long as you see a false, the result is false, right? And the all statement, what about the all statement? Remember the all statement is either one of them is true, then the whole statement is true, right? Which is in class, I told you that the all statement, as long as there's a true, as long as there's a T, the result is true, right? So the conditional statement, the conditional statement, when will this conditional statement is false? Remember the only time that the conditional statement is false is the first thing is true and the second one is false. If it's not followed, this pattern is automatically true. So again, the conditional statement is true when the first one, which is P is true and Q is false, which is if you remember, if you sign a document, then you will get the $5,000 example, right? So again, um, and what about a biconditional statement? Hopefully you guys still remember the biconditional statement to error, you need two of the same value which is they both true to be true or they both false to be true, okay? So again, this is just a, a, a reminder, of, you know, just to first crack your memory in terms of when the end is true, when the end is false, or when the all is true, or when they are false, and so on and so forth, right? So again, um, you know, this way, this is because it's a review, so they kind of just, you know, speed it up and give you this item here. Uh, what about a tautology, which is a tautology is reminder. A tautology is when all your statement is always true, meaning all of them is true, right? A self-contradiction is when the statement is always false, meaning all of your statement is false. So again, I, I kind of speed it through and, and you know, you can go back and, and I will post this, this slide like before I will post online. Um, we will go back and, and again, the reason why I, I speed it through is, is um, is to get to here, right? To the two table, to remind you guys of what to do with the two table. Uh, some of you probably know, but again, let's remind ourselves, which is again, to construct the two table, which is again, to construct the two table, reminder that this is your, your fixed two table, right? Your fixed true table, which is your P is true, true, false, false. Your Q is true, false, true, false. Every time we have two letter, this is our fixed two table, which is again, a, a long, long time ago, right? almost a month, um, two months, <laughs> a long time ago, uh, we did this, right? Uh, which is again, looking at this thing here, they asked us, construct the two table for this item here, which is the negation of P if and only if Q, if and only if P and negation of Q, okay? Um, so again, looking at this thing here, we know that we need to, we know that we need to do Uh, we know that we need to do um, the parentheses first, right? We cannot, we don't want to do the negation first because the negation is on the outside, right? So we need to do the parentheses first, which is inside my parentheses, reminder that this is my double error, which is the biconditional statement. So what is the biconditional statement? The biconditional statement is when will this item is true? Well, when both of them have the same value, right? When both of them are true or both of them are false, then it's true. If they don't have the same value, which is again, if they have opposite value, is false, right? So again, we did that, whatever in my parentheses, that's my column, which is now we go in and we ask ourselves, what is the negation of the thing you just did, right? 
what is the negation of the third column, which is the negation of the third column will be again, if it's true, the negation is false. If it's false, the negation is true. If it's false, the negation is true. And it's true, negation is false. Which is again, this is my, my first item, the negation of the parenthesis, which is that's what here. Before we can do the if and then again, we have to know what this parenthesis is. And to do the second parenthesis, remember we need the negation of Q, which is again, the negation of Q is just the opposite of Q, which is false, true, false, true. And again, what is the all criteria? Reminder, the all criteria is either one of them is true, the result is true, right? So again, as where are we looking? We look at the first column and the fifth column, which is again, um, I'm sorry, this is an end statement, not the all. Um, the end statement, as long as there's a false, the result is false, right? So again, we look at the first column and the fifth column, which is again, the fifth column is false, so it's false. I don't see a false here, so it's true. The rest is false because the P is false, right? The end statement. And again, to finish it off, we know that we need to do a, we know that we need to do a biconditional statement, which is again, we need to compare this column right here, right? We need to compare this column, right? We need to compare this column versus this column here. So again, looking at this thing here, we know that looking at this item here, we know that as long as they have the same value, right? As long as they have the same value, then the result is true. So the first row I know is true because they have the same value and again the only time they are false is they have opposite value so looking at this thing here this is what we have or if you guys remember this is what we do is we try to do inside a parenthesis and expand our way outward right so again looking at this thing here question with this number 13 here question with anything so far and today we will try to do chapter three and chapter two. Uh, chapter 11, uh, we will do on Monday. I, I just saw it chat. So let's take a look at this thing here. If you don't have question with 13, let's take a look at 14, which is again, 14 and 15, which is how do we determine if it's a tautology? Well, to determine if it's a tautology, the first thing we need to do is we need to, as always, right? Uh, we need to come uh, construct the true table. And again, this is your fixed true table, <clears throat> which is 2244 for P, 24244 Q. So as always, we need to do inside my parenthesis or you know, work from left to right, the first parenthesis. So again, the thing we have inside the first parenthesis, we got it, which is reminder. This item here is um, we're looking from left to right, right? We're looking for left to right, which is the only time that is false. The only time is false is when the first thing is true and the second one is false, right? Uh, the only time is false is this item here. Everywhere else is true, okay? And again, looking at this thing here, we got the first item, right? Uh, before we can do the second biconditional statement, we have to know what inside the second parenthesis, which is inside the second parenthesis, do you agree that I need the negation of Q and the negation of P? Which is in this case, again, same thing go, I look from left to right once again. The only time that is false is this item here, which is the first thing is true and the second one is false, right? Everywhere else is true. And now looking at this thing here, I know that I got this column, right? I got this column right here, which is my first parenthesis is right here. My first parenthesis and my second parenthesis, right? So again, this is the two column I, I need to compare and reminder a biconditional statement. A biconditional statement is as long as there's a, as long as they have the same value. Oh, I did it. I thought I didn't do it. So I, anyway, uh, this is the two column we have. And again, um, which is again, as long as they are the same is true which is, as you can see, they both are the same. And if they are the same, they are true. And if they are all true, we know or we say that this is a tautology, right? 
If it's all true, a tautology. If it's all false, a contradiction.